Salutations, this is Grim Devel, and welcome to our Let's Play of Keeper RL. I need to first thank Dwarf Comic, my good friend Dwarf Comic and fellow Granite Accident, for recommending this game to me. This game's been out for, boy, I think I think it's been in development for like six years or something like that. Um, and it is still in early access. This is Alpha 32, I believe is the version that we're in. Here's the version down here, but I, I think it's officially Alpha 32. Um, and it's a cool game. It's basically, as the name implies, a cross between Dungeon Keeper and a roguelike game. And it's pretty fun. It does a really good job. Um, so there are a bunch of modes you can play in this game. I say a bunch of modes. There are really two modes that you can play, Keeper and Adventure, which kind of correspond to like the Dwarf Fortress, like Fortress mode and Adventurer mode. Um, but really, Adventure mode is, is a little more roguelike-y. And uh, Keeper is kind of the standard way of playing. I think there's some friction among the community of Keeper RL about, like, I guess it started where you could just be an evil wizard, kind of like in the original Dungeon Keeper, um, and and just kind of have minions and stuff like that. And now you, they've added, like, you can control people in the dungeon like a roguelike. Um, I don't know. It's It seems really cool. I really like all the developments. But, yeah, you can, you can choose now when you start uh, to be a wizard or a knight or a not-so-evil knight, or a not-so-evil gnome. And apparently there's some other classes that you can be, that you can unlock. Um, same with adventure mode. You can start as a squire, and apparently there's something you can unlock here too. Although, um, so I'm not super experienced in this game, but I will say that I, I got super into adventure mode a couple of nights, and I did beat adventure mode, but that still didn't unlock the other adventure class. I've only played Keeper Mode a couple of times just to kind of get used to it. And we are going to play as, like, the standard evil wizard start. Um, and uh, male or female? I don't know. Can I flip a coin? There's no coin. I'm going to get out my bag of, of dice. And I happen to pull out a D12. Uh, let's say uh, male is odd and female is even. I rolled a 7. So we are going to be a male Keeper. Here we go. Starting to game. And Red Wardo is a great name. Just, just great. <laughs> uh, yeah, and you can enable online features for to download dungeons and stuff like that. So, uh, welcome to campaign mode. The world which you see below is made up of smaller maps. You will build your base on one of them. There are hostile and friendly tribes around you. You have to conquer all villains marked as main to win the game. You can travel to other sites by creating a team and using the travel command. The highlighted tribes are in your influence zone, which means that you can currently interact with them, trade, recruit, attack, or be attacked. As you conquer more enemies, your influence zone will increase. Okay, so this is the randomized map. We could re-roll it if we want, but I mean, it's fine as far as I'm concerned. Um, I think it's nice to have your base biome be mountains. I think that's why it defaults to that, because it's kind of like Dungeon Keeper and Dwarf Fortress in that you, you kind of mine into the mountains and build your base that way. Um... And yeah, because this is the first time this is on my channel, I think we're just going to do everything default. Um, tree Spirit. So, but I am pretty inexperienced in this game. Um, I'm, I continue in the couple of games I've played. I continue to find things that I've just never seen before. And I'm sure that's going to happen while we're playing. I'm sure we're not going uh, to win to to let you know that. Un it's interesting. I'm this is the first time I've seen Unknown Ally. Um, they're the only ally we have on the map. Yes. Oh no, Dark Elves are our ally. Cyclops is a lesser villain. Tree Spirits are a lesser villain. Ants are a lesser villain. Valdemach is a main villain. So are the Dwarves. It's interesting, if you play an adventure mode, Valdemach is also a main villain there. Um, and you're kind of a good guy in the adventure mode. And an unremarkable dungeon. Okay, so we're just going to start. Confirm. This is good. I'm excited about playing this with you. This is it's a really fun game. So yeah, Alpha 32, Hotfix 2 which was released, uh, I'm recording this as of April 18th, so this hotfix was released yesterday. Um, and this, these are things in the last, like, alpha, or new, new factions and stuff like that, but we're going to dismiss. Um, I can immediately pause it. Okay, it's paused, even though there are little circle things circling around. You start kind of like in Dungeon Keeper. Uh, you start with a bunch of imps, and here's us, Red Wardo the Keeper. Um, so... Uh, I do know, so I, I do know, like, the basic commands and stuff like that. And you can see we already have identified where some ore and stuff like that is inside of a rock formation, a mountain. We also have question marks, which is usually, you know, where um, sometimes enemies can be or just events. Um, I think it's also pretty standard that somewhere on the map 
that's not underground is like a human village that's pretty easy to just kind of destroy. Um, but we're gonna kind of set things up first. You can also uh, take control of folks. And I am going to start by taking control of Redwardo here. Actually, before I do that, um, let me tell my imps to start cutting down some trees to get some wood. So I'm gonna make a stockpile, which storage resources, I'm gonna do that. Just make a stockpile here, I'm just gonna paint it. I think I can I can rectangle it with uh, by hitting shift. And then I'm gonna hit O? Uh, no, sorry, I, is it I? What is it? Oh, it's D, D, to uh, start cutting down some trees. Why don't I just cut down like the trees that we see in here? It might be a little loud, the sound effects. Uh, da -da 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 -da. All right, that's good. Um, so they're going to start doing some of that. And while they're doing that, we're going to control Red Wardo here and look around. First, we look down here. Um, and it is, it is turn-based when you're in this mode. We can walk through the trees here. Uh, just to kind of scout out around the mountain. There's a boar. Uh, so we can get a sense of, like, where exactly we want to build our base. So the imps are following me. I guess that's fine. Um, because we don't want to, like, dig... We don't want to, like, make rooms where there's not going to be enough room to dig out rooms. Okay, I think that's enough scouting south. Uh, I think one of our imps maybe... Oh, what is this? A fox corpse. I think maybe that boar killed the fox? Maybe? Let's go this way. Um, I suppose I could tell my uh, my imps to start digging more. Um, hold on a second. Uh, D. And yeah, let me just dig like all the trees that are kind of in this general area. That's fine. And go back to controlling Redwardo. Oh, Redwardo, Redwardo. The bards shall sing of Redwardo's evil deeds. Uh, okay, so I don't know exactly how far deep that goes, but the, the ore kind of gives us a, an, a good idea. We'll probably do more exploration later, but this is fine for now. Uh, let me exit control mode and think, where do we want to build an entrance? Um, do we want to build... Hmm. We could have it. It's interesting, this kind of protects it here, this like stone. We could come in this way. It might not be bad. It's kind of right where we started. Um, I mean, it's all randomized. Yeah, I don't mind that. Maybe a storage area down here. If you watch me play Dwarf Fortress, you know I like to have like a big storage room right at the entrance and then kind of have everything else beyond that. Okay. Let's do it. Uh, and let's make our entranceway too wide, I think. Because you can have gates that are that wide. Uh, usually, as I've, I've only played this game a couple of times, and both times I've played, I've only had one wide corridors. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But, um, but let's do this for now. And then let's build a room for, like, resources and stuff like that, and we'll, we might expand this later. One of the first things we're going to want is bedrooms. Uh, let me also immediately, like build yeah we're, we're gonna build our main corridors as too wide like this and then i can have rooms off to the side here one of the first things we're gonna want is a bedroom uh maybe like a dormitory because you're gonna need um so you can see on the bottom left here we have these uh we have imps that we can get for gold we also have two folks that we can already recruit one is a got both of them are goblin warriors and they have requirements they both require a wooden training dummy and a basic bed. So we're going to want a training room and a bedroom. So this is very much like a Dungeon Keeper in that regard. Um, I can unpause it and get the have the imps just start working. Um, and yeah, let us let me think. So we, we want a bedroom. Do I want the bedroom like right off the beginning here? I don't see why not. Um, and that way if there's trouble, I mean, that's where most people will will be they can just immediately kind of come out although a training room might make more sense here yeah maybe we do a training room right off here i don't think a training room has to be that big um yeah maybe a seven by three room might be fine for training 
uh, at least at first. We're also, uh, we'll need a room, because we ha we start as a wizard, we start with some knowledge of sorcery. We'll want um, a room to train that stuff. And maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll kind of have the same thing here. What was that, three by seven? Oh, I can't do that here. We're gonna, so it, it because it won't let me dig here, there's probably something here like a river or something like that. So I'm gonna cancel this by, is it control? Yeah. Um... Yeah, let's just dig our corridor this way and see what we find. Uh, we will want a dormitory, though. And we'll probably want it to be sizable. Let me build another little room here. And th this can be for training. Yeah. Whoops. Uh, not there. Ah! Ah! If you keep hitting D, it goes down this menu, but I don't There's. I don't think there's a shortcut to go back up like that. Yeah, okay, I like that. And then maybe above this, we'll do bedrooms. A big old dorm. I think. Whoop, uh, yeah, that's fine. So what was this? That was seven by six. Um... Maybe do seven by seven? And in fact, it can probably go back further. Why not? Big bedroom. Big old bedroom, lots of beds. Yeah, it's gotta be good. Um, and let's immediately make a wooden gate. We have wood. Yeah, I can't put it here. I can only put it on, like, tile that we've dug. So I can do that. I think this might... This might go, like, three... Nah, I don't... I don't know. Whoops. I don't know if, if you if you can have these be... I want to cancel these. How do I cancel that? Uh, is it... It's installation? Something. Orders. Remove construction. There we go. Um... I don't know if, if gates can be more than too wide, but this is fine. So yeah, we've got these little imps doing our bidding. And soon we'll be able to make some make some things. So the way the recruitment works... I'm sorry, I, I, I'm drinking tea while I'm playing, if you heard me slurping. Um, so you, the, you can see that the goblins here, um, they want to immigrate here, but there are a certain number of turns left. And once those turns go away... The, go the, um, the potential immigrant will no longer be available to come. Sometimes the people that want to come have special qualities, uh, sometimes positive, sometimes negative. Um, so sometimes it can be prudent to wait. You do have a cap for how many, uh, for, for what your population can be. Um, it can go up, although I don't know the mechanics of what makes it go up. Um, it might be like the level of your keeper or something like that. But yeah, so you kind of want to be picky about who you who you get. Uh, you can kick people out, but all of your other folks get a morale um, debuff if that happens. Um, so we, we just got an option for a goblin artificer. They're good at crafting. We are going to want a crafting room as well. Um, and I'm kind of thinking we do that down here. If we have storage down here, it might make sense to have crafting down here too. Maybe to the right of it. Yeah, I, I do like it. That's going to be fine. Oh, I just realized this this doesn't quite match. Yeah, these rooms, hold on. The 5x5 five five rooms can just have one, one door. That's fine. All right, there's a lot of digging. Uh, hopefully, it won't take them too long. There's not, like, I don't think there's a real, like, time crunch in this game, which I appreciate. Other than, like, the immigrants going away after a certain amount of time, I don't think, like, if you wait too long, it's not like... And I could be wrong about this, but in my experience so far, I don't think, like, it's like the enemy gets to build up a big army. It's not like an RTS, where, like, if you wait too long, the enemy will just build up a huge throng and attack you and you won't be prepared. I think the game pretty much like will go at whatever pace you want. Like you can you can do that. You can be the one that just waits and waits and waits to get more powerful and then 
be overpowered when you finally attack the enemies, which aren't really, which are kind of static. Again, could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Like if we if we travel on the world map somewhere else, it's not like if we tra if we travel now, it's going to be the same as if we travel in many episodes. I think. I think. I've not read anything about the game. I've not watched anyone else play it. I've just played a couple of games myself. All right. Yeah, we got artificers here. Yeah, we a lot of options, and these are pretty much all the same. The stats are slightly different. This one has a little bit higher. It might be that he comes with a better sword, actually. That might be what it is. Yeah, we lost one goblin warrior, but there'll be more where that came from. Um, not too worried about it. We can start putting down some things, though. Um, let's put down training. Uh, wooden dummies are all we can make at the moment. Um, let me... I'm going to put them in the middle or in the corners. I might put them in the middle to start like that we might move them later and by move i mean destroy and rebuild ah there is water over here okay um so i am going to cancel this um i don't think i want to open up to that river right yet we there are things you can do um if you go to uh is it installations where is it orders some structure. Yeah, you can fill water, but it takes stone, and we don't have any stone. Morale affects minions, productivity, and chances of filling for battle. Did something happen? Did we lose morale? Um, and here, this is where I wanted to have our library, wooden bookcases. Um, I could put bookcases all in the middle, but I think here I am going to do it a little differently. Like that. Uh, light is a thing. We will want torches, which I think is uh, the C button. Yeah, C is the hotkey for that. Um, people will want light to train. So let's do that. Uh, the torches don't take any resources. Which is good to know. I'll do that. Actually, maybe I'll kind of mimic that here and uh, cancel the torches there. Okay. Um, and then here also, like that, sure, torch there, and torch here, uh, and let's, let's start putting down some beds, basic bed here, I think the beds can be kind of anywhere, so we can put them in the corners, why not? Then maybe we we set them back immediately. Yeah, whatever. Put a bed there. Put a bed there. Um, put a bed here. Uh, and let's... So this is all dug out here. I'm going to put equipment storage here. We may want... Um, so we put our resource storage outside because that's where we put all of our wood. We might want to move that somewhere else. Uh, inside. Yeah, we could do that. But this might be... Yeah, I'll think about it. It's fine for now. Uh, I can't speed things up. This is fine. We got a couple of bookshelves. So now I think Redwardo here will start training. Um, is that what you're doing? Yeah, I think you are training. We got uh, an option for a goblin priest. No goblin warriors right now. Uh, we do need a forge to attract uh, the artificers. So let's let's build a forge. We have the uh, we've carved out a room for that crafting. Oh, we can't get a forge. Uh, workshop work workshop is what we want. And do I want these in the corners? I don't see why not. Put one in a corner. One is fine for now. And we have 15 wood. That is not enough wood. It looks like we have more, but I think it's just laid out here. We do need to uh, chop more trees down. I kind of like, I like there being trees. So I kind of like taking the trees away from um, the perimeter of the mountain. Like basically just cut down all the trees where there's like gray. 
and leave trees, even if it make, means they, the imps have to walk a little farther, um, leave trees a little further out, just so it still looks like there's growth. And cut these down. But the ones right next to the mountain, I think we can just get rid of. Hopefully they'll be enough for a while. And yeah, we have a pretty straight shot up here. We can dig um, a mining corridor to continue up here and start getting some, some uh, iron, granite, uh, and gold. That's what we see here. Just those three, three things. Whoops. And I can't speed things up. Uh, right now it's normal speed. Now it's fast. Uh, all right, so we did get a workshop. We have beds. Let's get an artificer. 12 plus 2, 12 plus 3, 12 plus 4. Um, I mean, I'm just looking at their attack. I think that's the only difference between them. So let's get Garzol here. One artificer. Um, we could also attract a priest. Uh, yeah, let's get one priest. Now, I guess I could have waited until we got, like, a better one available. But the priest, I believe, will train in this book bookcase area. It would be nice to have a warrior, though, for sure. And we have a wizard available now, too. Um, yeah, let's get let's get a wizard. That's fine. Uh, and we immediately need more beds. So, basic bed. Apparently, I think that means we don't have enough wood for it uh, when it's red like that. But we have instructions to dig... Um, Dig more trees out. We may want to beeline for the gold up here because that will allow us to afford more imps and speed things up. Redwardo reaches spell training level one and learned the spell Air Blast. That's lovely. And we can use that directly when we're controlling Redwardo. Uh, we don't have to just control Redwardo. We can control anyone and we can make teams of folks. Um, right, so now that we have an artificer, we can actually start crafting things. Um, and this is what you can craft at the beginning with a workshop, a wooden workshop. Um, the well let's see what do we have we have our our wizard has no equipment priest has no equipment yeah so i guess the plus four is just a natural bonus that you have um we're gonna want like all the equipment slots filled so let's do that i think for the wizard we're gonna want a corn uh cornethalm cornethalm um so that does less, you get less damage, but you do more spell damage. Pretty sure that's what we want for the wizard. Let's get one of those. Um, and then a helmet for the priest. I'm not going to equip the artificer yet. And then we're going to get two clubs, two leather armors, two leather helmets, two wooden shields, two pairs of leather gloves. Oh, and I forgot, we still, we actually need to equip um, Redwardo as well. So let's get something for him too. Uh, although I said helm and I... We don't, we don't need two leather helms. We only need one. Which, can I reprioritize that? No, that's okay. Wait, did I move it? There's one up there. I only need one leather helm. Oh, I guess I crossed one out when I hit X. So keep that one up here. And we need two cornethalms. Actually, let's just increase this quantity. Great. Uh, looks good. So now our artificer should start working on that. Uh, so you can make floors, which does increase the speed at which people work. So I'll build a little floor there. I'm going to build floors here. And I'm going to build floors all in here. Uh, again, we don't have the wood right now, but we'll get it. We're almost done all of our mining. So now, yeah, now the imps are pretty set on getting wood. Could get another artificer, but I think we're fine for now. There are going to be all kinds of things that are made available to us, but I wanted to get started with some training here. I would love a warrior. Uh, I think we're okay with just our wizard right now. I think. Um, I could get some doors. I'm not sure how much that really helps, but maybe. Redwardo is spelled, uh, Redwardo learned escape. That's nice. And a goblin wizard learned air blast. We got nice little messages up at the top. Yeah, we're making gloves. I think our folks will equip them automatically. Yeah, there's Redwardo going to put on the cor cornethalm, whatever it is. Yeah, nice. Wearing a robe, huh? 
Did you start with that robe? I don't think we made a robe. Uh, Goblin Peace improves the spell of advanced healing. Yeah, really, really nice. I'm glad Felix Perks are training up. We have wood for everything now. We have uh, 107 wood available. We definitely will want more, but let's wait until these goblins are done putting our floors down. Um, and then maybe we can dig more. Um, get some gold. Get Yeah, get all this stuff. Um, yeah, once you're done with the floors. All right, I think you're about done. Let's just come directly up here. Yeah, and just start mining all this gold out. And I think let's start build, uh, doing a corridor down this way and hope we don't hit the water. <laughs> okay, that'll be some nice uh, starting resources. All that stuff is going to go to this green, so I think we will want another resource area. Maybe I will um, put one here. Yeah, this could all be... Hmm. Could just do like this. We might want to uh, make our workshop bigger later. I don't know. Actually, don't know if we will. This might be fine to start. Yeah, just do this. It'll be a small resource area, but it's fine. In theory, we could make it bigger by having it go back here. Um, do I want doors? Auto saving, thank you. Um, also, artificer, wizard. Okay, I gotta keep an eye on this. All right, there's a goblin warrior. Yeah, let's get one. Uh, since we got that warrior, let's immediately build equipment for it so I don't forget. One of each. We might want a second artificer at this point. Um, we wouldn't need another forge, so let's let's go ahead and make one. Uh, crafting, workshop, and uh, let's get a floor for it. Um, you, you might have seen uh, there was an option to get a poetry table. I believe our wizard will will make poems um, on his spare time. So we might want one of those. Um, make a little poetry writing room or something like that. Let's see. Let's get um, let's get some more beds. We will want those. Uh one, two, three, four, five, bed. One, two, three, four, five. But yeah, let's put beds in these corners. We're definitely going to want more, um, more trees. So let's do that. More trees. Get them. And I don't know if I don't know if trees regrow. Not that one. I don't think they do. Though I could be wrong about that. Could be wrong. Hmm. Oh, so this goblin warrior has extra archery training potential. Um, yeah, I do want a second goblin warrior. So now you'll notice our population is six. We, ha we already have two um, training dummies. We don't have an archery target yet. That's not something we've researched. Um, you can see that these are all items that we can research. And to be able to research these things, Redwardo has to level up. So um, we're going to do that soon. One of the first things we're going to do is come out and explore and probably destroy a human village. Um, and we might bring Redwardo out to do that. Uh, but we're going to make equipment first. Oh, and speaking of equipment, I do need... Um, now that we have another warrior, another set of everything. It's slowly happening. Um, we have not made our uh, second workshop yet. We're cutting down trees. What are we doing? Oh, we're mining. Well, once we get some gold, we might get another imp. That might be very nice. I think I can tell... I think there's a way to tell imps to specifically 
do something. Uh, oh, you're you're moving. Oh, I, yeah, I told you to go down there, but I. Will you do that? Will you work on the trees if I if I tell you to go there? Maybe. Did you do it? You're not doing it. Oh, this priest has extra spell training potential. So, so that's why it, it can be um, wise to wait for people that have boost like that. Although sometimes they come with negatives too. I think we're okay. I don't think we need more than one priest for the time being. I want to save our population. Because there are going to be other kinds of things that we can get as well. Uh, plus we don't have the equipment. Uh, speaking of equipment, let's make it put another torch down in here. Torch in here. And yeah, let's make this a resource zone. Uh, okay. And yes, now we have iron ore and gold gold pieces. These just come in the forms of in the form of coins. Although I think you need a chest to store those. And treasure chest. Yeah, we can make one. Just put one like in the back here. It all takes wood. We're at negative 121 wood uh, based on the work orders that we have. So we definitely need to be chopping this down. Um, hopefully they'll get to it soon. But uh, we are going to put in a cut. So, so far, uh, I hope you're enjoying this series. This is Dungeon RL. I'm sorry, Keeper RL. <laughs> um, and I think we're going to have a lot of fun and see how far we go before we inevitably perish. I enjoyed playing with you today, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.